What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, we're going to talk about David Schwartz's endgame for the XRP ledger, and how his endgame is going to cause XRP to reach prices that are unimaginable today. Guys, this is a topic I talked about a while ago on the channel, but everything we have seen in the world up until now has only made me all the more confident that this is exactly what's happening, and we were spot on the money. Guys, in this video, I want to show you a clip of David Schwartz specifically talking about his master plan, then I want to break down exactly how it's playing out today and how it's going to cause XRP to reach prices that most people can't even wrap their head around. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. Thank you to everyone who likes the videos and is subscribed to the channel. Guys, these two things really do help me out so much. Also, if you ever need a good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite exchange uphold down in the description of this video. With that said, though, let's jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So guys, I want to start this video off and just let you guys watch a video of David Schwartz talking about his master plan for the XRP ledger. I think this is really important because obviously David Schwartz is the most educated person in the room when it comes to the XRP ledger. So I want you guys to fully understand in this video, I'm not giving you my hypothetical scenario for what I think the XRP ledger can become. I'm actually letting you guys listen to David Schwartz himself, the creator of the XRP ledger, talk about what he believes his end game is for the technology. Now guys, after David Schwartz tells us what he believes his end vision is for the XRP ledger, I want to break it down for you and make it super simple to understand exactly why XRP is poised to benefit from this big. Guys, one of the biggest pieces of pushback I got the last time I talked about this on the channel was that you could do all this without XRP. XRP really isn't needed for any of this. David Schwartz's vision makes sense, but it's not going to lead to an increase in the price of XRP. Guys, I want to show you exactly why those people are dead wrong after we go over David Schwartz's master vision, but let's start off and just listen to what the king himself has to say, David Schwartz, about his end goal for the XRP ledger, because this is really where the conversation starts. It's where David Schwartz sees things playing out. Listen up to this. Um, question here from the community. What is your completed vision for the XRP ledger? And that could be you know years away because there's iterations, there's things being worked on, innovation. What's, what's the end goal? Um, and I know that's a very loaded question. So as much as you can disclose. Uh, no, I, I, I can tell you, I had this very early um, and I think I've held it all the time. I still think that this is probably the right like end vision, which is, and I've used this phrase many times over the last eight years, is pools of liquidity that anybody can contribute to and draw off. Mm -hmm. And what I mean is we're going to be a multi-currency world for a very long time. And there's no end state in which we're not at least multi-asset. Even if, let's say, Bitcoin takes over the world, just being ridiculous. You know, well, maybe not. Who knows? Let's say Bitcoin takes over the world. Still, someone's going to want to hold shares in the real estate investment trust in the Seychelles Islands that I keep using in my example. People are not going to want. To, not everyone's going to want to hold Bitcoin all the time, like that. Or they're going to need to. They're going to need liquidity. Like there's no world where we're not going to need multi cross-asset payments. We're going to need liquidity. And what I've discovered, like looking at the payment space, is that liquidity is trapped and assets are trapped. And I think that is a multi-trillion dollar problem. And that's the problem that I think I've been trying to work to solve for the past 10 years. So that vision is, if I want to move, if I want to trade asset A for asset B, it could be a payment, it could be an investment, it could be taking a loan, it could be paying, making a loan payment, whatever it is, like the concept of swapping one asset for another can encompass almost all of, fi almost all of finance. So guys, as you can tell from that fantastic interview and massive shout out to Tony for actually asking that question, it's probably one of the best questions I've ever heard asked to David Schwartz. It really gets to the most important thing at the end of the day. Where does David Schwartz see the XRP ledger being positioned in the future? How does he see this technology playing out? And the key thing he said is that he sees XRP as deep pools of liquidity anyone can draw off of. So when he says this to me, it makes me think that XRP really isn't a transactional cryptocurrency. It's a liquidity cryptocurrency. XRP is used to create liquidity between different assets all over the world. Now, guys, one thing I have talked about a lot on this channel is exactly where we sit in blockchain today. Right now, we have space age technology that will allow any institution in the world to essentially transact seamlessly with any other institution in the world in fractions of a second for only a couple pennies. But the biggest issue right now is not that these rails aren't built. It's not that these rails aren't adequate. It's the fact that the traditional financial institutions have not moved their assets from the old system to the new one. 
This is what Ripple is actively looking to do. This is what Ripple is actively working on. That's why they just took control of Mataco. Mataco is a custody company. By taking control of custody companies, Ripple can work with the traditional financial institutions to take the trillions of dollars of assets they already have and put them on the blockchain. So guys, what we know right now is we have the space age rails in the XRP ledger. We have institutions with massive amounts of assets, but those assets have yet to be moved over to the XRP ledger itself. Now, guys, when that happens, I believe we are going to see an explosion of value in this ecosystem. But it really begs the question, how is XRP poised to benefit from this? And guys, I think for a while it was hard to see that vision. But one of the amendments that just got put in place that I believe completely opened my eyes to exactly how everything was going to function was the automated market maker. The automated market maker was an amendment proposed by Ripple, meaning that Ripple probably has an end goal or an end vision for it being critical to the XRP ledger itself. One of the things we know is the purpose of the XRP ledger is to create deep pools of liquidity. And the other thing we know about the XRP ledger is the deepest pools of liquidity are always paired to XRP. So guys, this plays in perfectly to David Schwartz's master plan for the XRP ledger. Get institutions to issue assets on the XRP ledger. Once those institutions issue assets on the XRP ledger, those assets are going to need liquidity. Where's the liquidity? It comes back to XRP. This means that if a banking institution wants to issue $50 trillion worth of USD on the XRP ledger, that USD is going to be put in an automated market maker against XRP. Same thing if an institution wants to issue copper. Same thing if an institution wants to issue US stocks. Same thing if an institution wants to issue milk derivatives. Same thing if an institution wants to issue pesos. All of these institutions are likely going to be creating automated market maker pools against XRP. And what does that mean? That means if a U.S. institution wants to issue $50 trillion worth of USD on the XRP ledger, well, that's $50 trillion of XRP that's going to need to back that value in the automated market maker itself. So that directly means that XRP is going to be consumed, locked up, and used as liquidity for these real-world assets. Guys, this is playing out right now on the XRP ledger. Guys, this is playing out right now on the XRP ledger as we speak. We have already seen 4 million XRP locked up via the automated market maker. But the big issue right now is we just don't have these premium assets to suck up massive portions of XRP. We don't yet have big institutions actually issuing real world financial products on the XRP ledger to soak up massive amounts of XRP liquidity. But my thesis is that is coming. That is around the corner with regulation and with these institutions being forced to adopt this new space age financial system. And guys, I don't think it's hard to see at all exactly how XRP is poised to benefit. This is something that lots of people got wrong for years. They didn't think you actually needed XRP to create the liquidity between these different assets, but the automated market maker is direct proof that every single dollar that is issued on the XRP ledger and put in the AMM is going to have to be backed with an equal amount of dollar value of XRP. What we are seeing is Ripple is moving towards its end goal of using XRP as pristine liquidity for a brand new financial system built directly into the internet. Ripple is working with financial institutions to build custody, and that custody is going to allow Ripple to gain access to the assets of these financial institutions that have trillions of dollars. When Ripple convinces these financial institutions to actually issue their assets on the XRP ledger, these financial assets are going to need liquidity, and there is no easier way to create liquidity than to pair the assets against XRP. Because if you were to try to pair USD against milk derivatives, well, you don't know if there's a market for that. You don't know if you're going to be able to get a buyer of a milk derivative to sell into USD. And to be honest, that's probably the worst example I could have given. Take, for example, US stocks to, once again, the milk derivatives. There really might not be a market for US stocks to milk and milk to US stocks. But what we know is there can always be a market from milk to XRP, and there can always be a market from XRP to the US stock market. So right here, we see XRP is being used as the liquidity, the oil for the entire system. And this is exactly what David Schwartz's plan was from the start. Use XRP to create deep pools of liquidity that anyone can contribute to or draw off of. Guys, this is the holy grail for the XRP ledger. This is the XRP ledger creating a deep internet of value, a deep pool of liquidity that allows any person to transfer one asset to another instantaneously at the speed of light for fractions of a second. Guys, to me, this is the holy grail of the internet of value. 
This is XRP as its full intended use case, deep liquidity for the new system. And everything I am watching from the Ripple side is convincing me this is exactly what's playing out. I believe we are going to see Ripple working with big institutions to tokenize their assets on the XRP ledger. We heard the CEO of Arkix the other day, the guy who directly worked with BlackRock to tokenize their money market fund on Hedera, say directly that he believes 40 to $50 trillion worth of derivatives and financial products will be tokenized on the XRP ledger. Was that just a guess or does this guy know something? Who knows? But once these big institutions are convinced to issue on the XRP ledger, then Ripple can actually issue XRP on the other side of that to create the automated market maker pool. We know Ripple has tons of XRP in their escrow. And guys, what is being built out there is essentially the deep pools of liquidity using XRP to pair against the trillions of dollars of issued assets. Guys, this to me is super exciting. It is no coincidence to me that the automated market maker was proposed at the same exact time that Ripple has really started making a push for real world assets. It is no coincidence to me that the automated market maker came to be at the same exact time Ripple started making massive strides into custody of the assets of these financial institutions. Guys, the automated market maker was a Ripple proposed amendment, which lets me know that they have serious plans for how the automated market maker is going to play into their next generation financial products. Guys, to me, everything is moving towards the end goal of making XRP the most pristine, decentralized liquidity in the financial system. And if Ripple can work with financial institutions to make the XRP ledger the hub of issued assets in the world, then XRP will naturally absorb the value of all these different asset classes and appreciate accordingly as it serves as the liquidity between all of them. Guys, I made this same exact video two years ago outside of saying the word automated market maker because it didn't exist yet. And a lot of people were telling me you could do all this without XRP. XRP 100% is not needed and you could run all of these different equations all through a single XRP. Guys, that is looking to be completely false. Those people seem to be on their face, and it seems to me like every single day we are getting closer and closer to a future where financial institutions are going to be issuing their assets directly on blockchain technology. Those assets are going to need liquidity, and the XRP ledger is likely going to be the best place to create that liquidity using XRP in the automated market maker to make every single issued asset in the system liquid to one another, and XRP as that pristine liquidity sucking up the value, driving up the price of XRP. Guys, that's how I see things playing out. That's where I believe we see the XRP ledger sitting perfectly in David Schwartz's end goal. Let me know what you think, but for now, Mickle out.